Are we ready? Yeah. The crosswind up here is ferocious. Let's see how this car handles. So we're in regen two, so we need to change this because I want some heavy regen three. Now we've got some heavy regen set. Uh, feels very well planted. And it's got a ride height that allows you to be a little adventurous. I mean, yeah, you're not going green laning. You can do a bit of adventurous picnicking like us. It is stunning up here, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I was wading through that when I was about 15 years old. Ah, right. Great B rally road, isn't it? Yeah, again. Over crest. You can take easier left. Steady on, old boy. Yeah, I know. I'm getting carried away. Aren't you I? are. 112 miles, though. So I've used one. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. And that's the thing I've noticed. Even if you're in eco mode and you need to get out of trouble, you can just put your foot down and the power's there. It's not like it restricts it. It will be quicker in sport, though. That's the thing, Randy. You don't actually know where the next car stopped. Oh! It's oh. on the road. Silly me. Uh. Could have been waiting there a while. Eskdale. Okay. Cool. So it's left here. No, it's right, you cabbage. Eskdale via Hard Not Pass. Esk it's right. Eskdale. Whoa. That is a bridge and a half. Yes. Which way? Straight. No, you went the right way. I reckon the GPS has <laughs> uh, thrown us a foolishness because it's not actually oh it's no it's redone it it's right it thinks so i was so you the, were right yeah i was gonna say my word right suitable for drivers with a nervous disposition let's see what it's like nice responsive steering it's nice and direct and you can whip it around as well. Get further off the road there. There we go. Range 111. Yeah, feel this. Very well planted. I think we'll wait here. Look at that. Looks similar to that road in San Francisco, doesn't it? It's bogus, isn't it? Yeah. Where's the damn car gone? Where are they? I think they've driven into Brigadoon. That's the problem with roads like this. You don't actually know who stopped where. Oh, there it is. Oh, for Pete's sake. You can stop here. There's a passing place. Not really. No, but it's the best we can do. I'm going to say. <clears throat> Whoa! Okay. We're certainly putting the MG5 through its paces, aren't we? It looks like something's waiting for us, but we're going to wait down here just in. Look at the sheeples. Hello, sheeples. Check that for acceleration. Oh my word. Lots of water. Talk about hairpins, huh? Fantastic. Look at this crazy guy. I know. You must have legs like iron. Yeah. Mm, fun. Yes. Mm. Nice snatch out. Look at this. Takes it with ease. Oh, where's that car? Nice direct steering. Feels good. Weightens up nicely as well. And it looks like it parked for us actually. It did, yes. Feel like you just put your power down. 
it's just not phased by the steepness, is it? No. This is a very interesting road trip for an EV. I don't think anyone would have thought to do this, apart from us, I suppose. I know. Well, road's a bit treacherous. But it's handling it well and it's not bone-shakingly jarring, is it? And the range. We've only gone to 107. And let's face it, I have been rocketing up this road. And it is uber steep. Yeah. Because it's nice and soft, it's very good. Look at this! Wow. There we go. Time to descend. Yeah, well it's a bit too peaky to be standing outside for picnicking. I'm on regen now and it's, it's dabbing off speed. Look at that sheeting of rain anyway. over there. Whoa. We're really high, aren't we? We're like in the clouds. We are. The regen is holding the car back. So I'm not actually braking at all at the moment. Interesting. I mean, I will have to brake and I am aware of that. Right, yeah, we're starting to speed up a bit now, but it will hold you a fair level. Oh my word. Let's turn on the wipers. How much seat room has he got on your yeah. side? Um, a feather. What's the what's the problem? It's, you know, I'm, I'm trying my, my best to. You like, shouldn't swing out that far if you tighten enough in. But well, is it quattro or not? No, it's not quattro. Oh. Okay. I didn't know that this is that much scary. So I, I made a mistake. I should I should come. There oh, well, I can back up we'll if back you up. need to go in there. Yeah, that's all right. I'm sorry. Guys. No, that's fine, man. It would scare me, I suppose. What the hell is he doing? Where's he gone walking? I think that's his family up there. Look at the steepness. Yeah, he's going to have to, mm. or he's going to have to try and turn around and go back. So, look at this. Reversing, like, with ease up here. I don't quite know what he's doing. What's, what's his plan? I'm not liking this. No, this is a bad situation. Oh. You could with the ZS even. There you go. Watch me, MG. <laughs> wow, they did it. I don't know if you'll get past the silver car. Cheers, buddy. All right, nice one, mate. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah, Thank you. you too. Thank you. It's the guy, the driver's one help pushing the car. Oh! That was um, interesting, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. You see why I couldn't tell if yeah, the road was right. wide enough. Yeah, he's he's right. sensible enough to have parked there. Bye! Yeah. Well, that was adventures, wasn't it? Ooh, very. What the heck? All that backwards and forwarding as well to manoeuvre. We still have 106 miles of range. A great fun <laughs> Mmm, heaven. Right, yeah, you can set the GPS for going home now, can you? Okay. So there you have it. You can feel... Ooh, my word. You can feel confident in your MG. Ooh, you will arrive sheep. in 1,000 feet. You can feel confident in your MG5 when you do adventures such as the Rhinos Pass and the Hard Knock Pass. And it's agile and takes these hairpins with absolutely no problem whatsoever. And our range, yep, yeah, knew it. We've recouped as well. So we've now got 108 miles of range. I think we started with 106 at the top. And my ears are popping like crazy, so it's quite a descent. 
old school phone box. Very nice. That's given us quite the insight, hasn't it? It has, yeah, Indeed it's been so. very interesting. My word, this thing's like a rocket. We've still got 106 miles of range. <gasps> That's fantastic. And what's the percentage of the battery doing? 54. Oh, it's holding well then. It is. When we get back, we'll have to see how many miles we've actually travelled. It has been an adventure and a half, hasn't it? Mm. Hey. Yep, yep, yep. Yeesh. Every weather condition at us today, aren't they? Ah, uh, yeah. And the EV is not phased in the slightest. Oh, we're not going to need to recharge on this trip, are we? No. But that means you can do a lot further than you realise, especially yeah. if you're economical with your battery. So you recoup, regen when you can, and don't floor it everywhere. Yes, which is a bit of a learning curve for me. But you do adopt a slightly different driving style when you're in an EV. You, con you unconsciously do it. I do in some. I suppose you're aware of the range, aren't you? Yeah. With the ZS, because it's got a shorter range, you're a lot more frugal. Whereas with this, I don't need to be as frugal, which is nice. We still get to experience the car in an engaging way without it depleting too much battery. But look at that sunshine. There's got to be a rainbow around, hasn't there? I'm looking for a rainbow. No, oh, it's not the sky for June. It's um, I'm walking on sunshine. Yeah. Raven Glass, Ulf at Brofton, Hardnop Hut Boot, Langdale. You're going to have to put the sat nav on because I have no clue where to go. Okay. I'd say Broughton, to be honest. Hang on, it's saying 43 miles. Yeah, it will be. It was 33 straight to get here. 14. It's really smooth, isn't it? Yes. A quick rundown on how I drive with the regen systems. So I use one for motorways and dual carriageways. Well, Two for A roads and three for B roads, yeah? Yeah, and anything with steep hills where you're gonna to need to do any braking that the vehicle could basically use regen for. Yeah, there's a sheep. sheep pull on the left, little sheep. Probably not the a little is, one. The sheep round here. Quite sensible, they know what to do. I mean, look, he's just chilling in his grass, yeah. he's got no concern. So, look, flawed. You can take this well, Carter. <laughs> roller coaster, yes, that's it, is reminiscent of a roller coaster when you fall yes. into these, actually. <sighs> There's nothing holding you back, is there? It's just instant. Very much so. So 101 miles. On our adventure tour. The region really helps you. Because you can zip up these steep bits. And if you back off, because of the incline, it just stops you that bit quicker before you go into the next hairpin. Ah, road sign. What does this say? Stanley, Stanley Gill. Gill. It's saying to carry on. Ulfa and Broughton. 96 miles of range. Talk about travelling on the moors. You can certainly see for miles up here. Also, with it being an EV, the regen helps the braking. It does. Got discs all around with the front being vented, and you have an electronic handbrake as well. But it operates very well. Depending on the road and the regen mode that you're on, you can quite easily drive around here without actually breaking. Uh, I think it's right. I do like the Halloween witch though. Halloween witch. Halloween witch. So we've done 542 miles in total now. We've got 94 miles of range left. Both trims in the range of the 5EV have the same safety features, which include EBA, ABS and EBD. You also get cruise control, don't you? You do. Lots of airbags, tyre pressure monitors, hill launch assist and EBA. Electronic brake distribution. And ABS. And cap to be determined. What I would have liked to have seen is lane keep assist, collision detection, and it would have been nice to see active cruise control like you see on the ZS EV, but all that will come with time. It's the same with the looks as well, because it's based on the Roe i5. 
so the likelihood is facelift version of this will follow the design language that we see on the rest of the MGs. This 5EV is an impressive station wagon, isn't it? Ah, yeah, that's what SW stands it for, isn't it? It does indeed. I keep calling it an estate. Because, Which it is. Yeah, well, that's what I've always called them. Yeah. Know, things like Sierra or estate. It handles so well, and as a station wagon, you, can't ask, yeah, you can't ask for more than that. You just whip around these hairpins. You basically get the range that you've got, and you can get a touch more if you drive a little frugally as well. And somewhere like the passes that we've been over today, so you will get far more mileage than you're actually expecting. Because I kept thinking, oh dear, I wonder how much and how long this is going to last. And 96 miles left. You could really take this on family adventures, couldn't you? Oh, it's perfect. You run the full gamut of weather up here. That's it, yeah, I was going to say, yeah. You never know what's going to be around He's the corner. off on his fish mish, yeah. Whee! And that's the other thing about this. Being in the state, I thought it might step out a bit on the back. And it, it, just it doesn't. doesn't. No. It handles so supremely well. Yeah, the weight of the batteries really does improve that, doesn't it? Yeah. Even when we went over that pothole, it was more of a case of it was loud rather than hard. Exactly. We've got 92 miles of range, so it's working out mile for mile. A touch better if you're using regen more. Ooh, old fire truck. Kind of landing oh, yeah. too. It's amazing what you'll see when we go on our road trips. I'm sorry that I have no muffin to fling at you though. No, I know. So, how many miles to home? 37. I think we had 100. 73 or so, didn't we, when we left? So that would be, be about right, yeah. We should end up with about, I think, 45 to 50 miles left. Because let's face it, when I get to a faster road, I will put my foot down. Well, it's been an interesting road trip, hasn't it? It has. Well, it's roads that I've not driven for probably 20 or so years. Annabelle, let's do something with the mileage. We have, we've traveled 546 miles and we've got 92 miles of range. And then we can work out how many miles we're using. So if we do five miles, are we using five miles of range or are we using three? So there we go, I know where we are. That goes from Coniston Village, just so Ah, right, okay. I used to deliver up here. 91 miles of range left, and we've done 547 miles. Ah. So, we're north of Barrow now. Ah. 42 round this sweep. Sticks well. It does. So I'm hovering between 40 and 60. To be honest, around here, I probably drive with Regen 3 all the time, and that way I can recoup whenever I can. And that's the car stopping, not me. We're near Foxfield now. The Dudden, yes. There we go, Fields of Foxes. <laughs> Taken in some interesting roads, motorways, B roads, A roads, hairpins, steep There's climbs. There's been plenty of hairpins. Steep descents. Loads of those. <gasps> well done, MG5. Well done. When ladders escape, <laughs> they go on the run. <laughs> Most of the time, we're hovering between zero and twenty, though, on the efficiency meter on the right. I think this is going to appeal to a lot of people. Yeah. Well, people will be there thinking, well, if I buy one of those um, station wagons, or estates as we call them, mm. can I do what I would, you know, normally do? Without fear of, of oh, exactly. I'm like, range anxiety. Yeah. And yeah, you can quite easily. Well, that's it. I haven't got range anxiety in this car in the slightest. No. I've still got 88 miles and I'm driving the way I would normally. It is remarkable the way that MG's battery and electric technology is evolving. Kind of helps 
when you've got your own battery factory though. You can do what you need to. And their research as well. They're definitely somebody to watch moving forward. There's like one tree every 20 feet. It's quite sad to see that, isn't it? Yeah. It is update time. Okay, so. Over that six miles, the MG5 used mile for mile. And for driving efficiency, the WLTP combined is 3.6 miles per kilowatt hour. Time to whoosh up the hill. Driving this, you will catch a lot of people off guard. They don't expect an MG Estate to come rocketing up behind them up a really steep hill. But you can. And even after that, 84 miles of range. You can be yourself more in this car, can't you? You can indeed. So, in that way, it's more like the Kia e Nero. You're not range watching. You just do what you need to do. Yeah, if you're going to go down to London, then you'll probably need to recharge once, but then you'll get a fair way back. Well, that's from our house. That's about 263 miles to London from where we live. It just all in all makes it a very versatile car. Yeah, I expected it to deplete the range far more from going up steep hills, going on the motorway at higher speeds, and it, it just, just hasn't. doesn't. No. I mean, if you blip it, yes, you'll use a couple more miles, but generally, it's pretty spot on. It's a magical mystery tool. Let's try sport mode out of a junction. So, light acceleration to start with. We're now at boost, which is 100, and we're up to the limit. 3.9 miles. Whoa. At the roundabout, take the second exit. The thing is, I didn't floor it either no. then, because otherwise we would wheel spin. Yeah, but it was very smooth. Oh, yes. And so quick, actually. That's the thing about electric cars, isn't it? They're yeah. just smooth and very fast. Yeah. There's no combustion, there's no turbochargers, you don't need to wait for things to spill, you just literally put your foot down and the motor goes zip! 40% battery, 71 miles of range, and we've done 559 miles. We're now in sport mode on Regen 3. Travelling at 61 miles an hour, we're still only at about 20% of power. So it's only hard acceleration that's going to get you past that. So you quite happily cruise along at between 60 and 70. And I'm sure the MG is when you're on Regen 3, you put the brake lights on when you're on that level. So you don't alarm cars behind when you start braking quite hard. Are we going to put it back into Eco? No. Up here is a nice little section. It's one of my favourite bits of road in the UK. Your family electric estate car. <laughs> How did that feel, dear? Interesting. Yeah, I've come down there at some interesting speeds back when I was a youth in the um, Golf GTI. Wow. I was going to say every Golf I've owned has been lowered on whatever suspension, and because of the weight of this, this feels as agile round bends. It's amazing, actually. At the well, roundabout, take yeah, the second exactly. exit onto A590. The thing is, I was nowhere near pushing it either. I was no. even after that blip, Go 67 on, miles of range. To oh. A590. We're now using 10% of our efficiency as well. Yeah, well, we're not going anywhere behind this big girt. Yeah, but this is a dual carriageway. Meaning? Bye bye. Are we ready? Yep. Look, helicopter. Bye. Oh, cool. cool. The Sprinter hasn't seen anything yet. Three, two, one, launch. And there you go. Whee! If you look in the mirror now, you will see that the Sprinter is practically stationary. And this is merely a test, but if you put your foot down at 70, it can still pull motorway speeds. It just feels... Steady, well planted, comfortable. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You can change lanes quite easily, it's just not a problem. I mean, you can literally weave along in this. 
It's not what you expect from this style of car at all. We're back on Eco. We're about, what is it, 12 to 14 miles away from the hub? 11 actually. And we have 65 miles of range, so I'm going to be about right. It is going to be around 50 miles left, and that's after doing some serious playing back there. So. Well, exactly, it's what it's all about. I love the power delivery from an electric. I think we need to go into sport in a minute, Annabelle, and uh, be interesting to see. He's obviously an Audi enthusiast because he has MC12 out. Audi. Out. Audi. So, doing 45. It'll be interesting to see what happens here. I'll give it a quick floor and we'll see what happens. In one mile, exit to the left on two jobs. I never. Yeah, I know. Boy racer. Yeah, I, I bet he was like, what's the electric vehicle behind doing? I don't think it's talked that you're an electric vehicle yet. No, probably not. Pull out and uh, in sport mode? Yep. Oh, Haven't taken speed. it out of sport mode. In 3.8 miles, turn right. Whoosh time. Whoosh and Nino. We do love that whoosh. 51 miles of range. <laughs> right, shall I put it into eco and we can have a look and see what it says with that? Yes. So, yeah, it takes it straight up to 59. Yeah, so we'll come back to you when we hit Silverdale. So let's see how the EV goes through this flooded road. No problem. We're just coming into Silverdale now, aren't we? Yeah, we are. About a mile from the house and it's 54 miles. So like I expected, between 50 and 55 miles of range. And that's with everything we've done today. No, it's been an interesting road trip, hasn't it? Mm. A bit of adventurous picnicking, all different kinds of weather. Has it performed like you expected it to, or did you, no. has it exceeded? It's very much exceeded expectations. Yeah. And it's done everything we've needed it to do. Yeah. And it handles exceptionally well for an estate car. It does. Mind you, that's why things like the RS6 and the RS4 have estate cars. We've got rain sensing wipers as well, which are very handy. Mm -hmm. But those hailstones are fierce, weren't they? They were. And the wind this morning was, ooh, tray gusty. That's 580 miles that this car's done now. No, nope. and even I've been doing some driving as well, so. Yeah. Why, I'll we're here. Out now. Okay. One thing to note is I'm still comfortable in this seat, and I've been in it literally four hours with a quick stop to get out and do some camera work. So yeah, nice comfortable seats, decent for a long journey. You've even got heated seats. We have 52 miles of range, which is 24% battery. What we'll do is we'll go away, see how many miles we've covered and work out how efficient it is. Thank you. Bye. We ended up with 52 miles of range left after traveling just over 115 miles, including getting lost and going over Burka Fell. So we started with 185 miles and ended up with 52. Overall, we worked out that we were using 1.155 miles of range per one mile travelled, which is impressive over such a challenging route with various speeds, high altitudes and varying temperatures. Why don't you experience this for yourself and take one out for a test drive? Full review coming soon.